Global Geology Bulletin, June 1, 2025. The Earth awakens, steamboat geysers' mysterious roar, Kalawia's lava beehive, Swiss glacier collapse, and Mount Samiru's furious ash plume. Yellowstone National Park, Wyoming, a geyser's cry from the depths. At the heart of America's oldest national park, an ancient force may be beginning to stir. Steamboat Geyser, the tallest and most erratic geyser on the planet, has erupted in a series of increasingly powerful blasts, sending plumes of boiling water and steam hundreds of feet into the air. What makes this current episode especially alarming isn't just the height or frequency of eruptions, it's what's happening beneath Steamboat. In just under 48 hours, seven full-scale eruptions have rattled the Norris Geyser Basin. Geothermal sensors have detected unusual surges in pressure and ground uplift. Subtle, but unmistakable. Swarms of shallow, harmonic tremors are being picked, up by a cluster of seismometers beneath the geyser basin. These aren't ordinary tectonic quakes. Stress gets relieved um, as part of that uh, volcano. They're magma-induced tremors, the kind that occur when molten rock starts to shift upward through the Earth's crust. We're not saying Yellowstone is going to erupt tomorrow, says Dr. Lana Merrick of the USGS Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. But when Steamboat Geyser starts acting like this, synchronized with harmonic tremors and deformation, we pay very, very close attention. The Norris Basin has long been one of Yellowstone's hottest and most dynamic zones, directly above one of the two active magma reservoirs feeding the caldera system. The recent rise in temperature and gas emissions, especially elevated levels of CO2 and sulfur dioxide, are adding to growing concern. Satellite thermal imaging shows that the ground temperature near Steamboat has increased by 7.5 dig in just one week, an unprecedented jump. More worryingly, some models now suggest magma is only three to five kilometers from the surface in certain pockets of the park. If pressure continues to build, scientists warn that hydrothermal explosions, massive steam blasts capable of hurling rock and debris, could precede any larger volcanic event. Such explosions have occurred in Yellowstone's past and have left behind craters over a kilometer wide. We're standing on top of a sleeping monster, Merrick adds. And right now, that monster is stirring in its sleep. Hawaii, Kalawia's lava beehive. Geyser eruption shocks scientists and tourists alike. On the big island of Hawaii, the Kalawea volcano, one of the world's most active, has entered one of its most spectacular and unusual eruptive phases in recent memory. At precisely 4.11 a.m. HST, the summit caldera at Halema Uma'u split open with a deep, thunderous crack. What followed stunned even the most seasoned volcanologists. Lava fountains erupted in rhythmic bursts, mimicking the timed precision of geysers, sending jets of glowing magma soaring into the air in pulsating arcs, like a fiery beehive exploding from deep inside the earth. It was as if a geyser of lava 
had been waiting to erupt in rhythm with the heartbeat of the Earth, said volcanologist Keone Manu. In the span of three hours, over 32 million cubic meters of lava had flooded the crater floor. The beehive-style ejection pattern suggests an intense, gas-charged magma reservoir just beneath the summit, a volatile system under immense pressure. This geyser-like lava behavior indicates repeated, violent degassing events, not unlike those seen in hydrothermal geysers like Yellowstone's steamboat, except with liquid rock. Communities in Volcano Village and surrounding areas have been advised to shelter indoors as Vog and Fine Ash descend with the trade winds. The Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, HVO, raised the alert level to warning, red, and closed all park access. Infrared satellite imaging now shows a rapidly expanding lava lake, with minor overflows breaching older crater walls. Continues lava may soon reach pre-2018 eruption levels. When Kamulawia displaced over 2,000 people and destroyed hundreds of homes, this eruption is different, said Manu. It's more aggressive, more synchronized, and possibly the sign of deeper magmatic instability. Switzerland. A wall of ice breaks free. Fee Glacier collapses. Far from the volcanic Pacific, rim in the normally tranquil Swiss Alps, nature struck without warning. catastrophic collapse of the Fee Glacier above the alpine resort town of Sars Fee sent massive slabs of ice, rock and snow hurtling down the mountainside at terrifying speed. Caught entirely off guard, over 300 residents and tourists were evacuated within minutes. No fatalities have been reported so far but multiple ski lodges and cabins were crushed and debris fields have blanketed trails for over two kilometers. It sounded like thunder splitting the sky open, followed by a roar that didn't stop, said witness Marie Lang from her chalet. Experts say the collapse was triggered by glacial meltwater lubricating the glacier's base, combined with internal fracturing caused by rapid warming in the region. The Alps are now experiencing unseasonably early melting, with temperatures in May and early June breaking all-time records. Mount Semeru, Indonesia. The giant stirs again, as if echoing the chaos from Yellowstone and Hawaii, the Pacific Ring of Fire delivered another warning. Mount Semeru, Java's highest and most volatile volcano roared back to life overnight, launching dense ash clouds more than five kilometers into the atmosphere. Thick, black ash rained down on villages across Lumajang Regency, forcing schools and businesses to close. Seismic stations recorded over 200 volcanic tremors in a 12-hour span, including deep low-frequency quakes indicating fresh magma movement beneath the cone. Indonesian officials raised the alert level to level 3, standby, and more than 1,000. People were evacuated from the southern flanks of the volcano. The eruption has also produced several pyroclastic flows, deadly currents of superheated gas and ash, which have scorched the mountain slope and destroyed key evacuation bridges. This volcano is infamous for rapid, unpredictable escalation, said Bayu Hartono of the Indonesian Volcanology Agency. We fear a larger dome collapse may trigger a more violent phase. Indonesia is home to over 120 active volcanoes, 
and Sumeru has long been among the most dangerous. Its current activity adds to the growing sense that Earth's volcanic systems, across multiple continents, are entering a period of heightened unrest. <laughs>